Alright, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, animals that wouldn't have been able to survive on the ark. Uh, creationists say that only the family level taxonomic category would have had to be on the ark, so I found four animals in that, those classes that would have uh, not made it. Uh, the first one is the injury lemur and the family injury day. Uh, it is native to eastern Madagascar. It's the largest living species of lemur, and uh, their population currently is between a thousand and ten thousand, so they're endangered. And they just simply don't do well in captivity. Their diet can't be replicated, and uh, they stress out within months. In 1939 or 1949, one of the two. Uh, eight to ten of uh, injury lemurs were brought to the Paris Zoo. All of them died within one month. The longest an injuries last, lasted in modern times, more recent times, was uh, one year. But to think that two of them would survive in a confined wooden environment on an ark for a year is not likely. The second is the pangolin, the pangolin seen here. There are eight species of pangolin. They're in their own order. They're so distantly related to other mammals, which is uh, Folidota. They uh, stress easily in captivity as well. That's a recurring theme, and they have a specialized diet, another recurring theme of these four examples. They only eat ants and termites and small bugs. Now to escape stress in the wild, they ball up, but doing this constantly isn't possible in captivity. Uh, and another way they escape stress is either by climbing with some species or burrowing with others, which you can't burrow in a wooden ark, and there's only limited space to climb, if any. So they're going to stress out uh, pretty quickly. The longest pangolin, pangolins usually survive in captivity is six months. The third example is the tarsier. Which is a small primate from the Philippines. Uh, it stresses out so easily in captivity that it actually commits suicide. It'll bang its head against the side of an enclosure and kill itself. They just will not tolerate captivity. And our last example is the pink fairy armadillo. which is in the subfamily Chlamyphorinae, I think is how it's pronounced, along with one other species that's incredibly similar, the greater fairy like uh, pink uh, armadillo. I almost said all animals in one word. So, it stresses out so easily that it usually dies during transport, what when it's captured. But after that, it usually dies within days. There was one recent example in 2009 where one lived for, I think, several months. But to have any of these animals survive long term in subpar conditions in a wooden ship for the whole year is just not possible. So I hope you learned something about some cool animals that you probably haven't heard of before. Uh, and if you liked this video, like and subscribe. We'll be making more in the future.